It is 4.02, and we called order a special meeting of the with the select board. We have one agenda item to talk about the appointment of an interim town administrator. We have two resumes, two people, and Brian, how do you think we should approach this? Um, so we put out just a quick background. Um, we, we published the interim uh, job posting for an interim town administrator. Um, and we posted it in the bulletin board on the website. And um, we received two responses. Um, well, I guess it's a hybrid response. And then we received one other additional resume. Um, what do you mean by hybrid response? So, and, and Joyce may be able to talk more yeah. about this when we talk yeah. about yeah. The, the the two, um, or what do you want to characterize it? The two opportunities to, to fill the position. Okay. Um, yeah, so we received those those uh, uh, yeah. two resumes, yeah. two information, information about the, the talk to the tool to, the, uh, to fill, the, fill the gap. Um, so it, it's really up to the board as to how how it wants to proceed at this point. Mm -hmm. um, we fulfilled the, the the job advertising requirements. So I don't know if we want to talk about both, mm -hmm. you know, both scenarios or whatever whatever the board wants to do. Well, first, I would like to ask if you were able to contact the other person that you had said potentially would be interested, mm -hmm. and did they? Um, well, I think when I when I left with my homework, my homework was <laughs> to first to talk to Lynn. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, and I did that. We, we um, uh, Lynn came up with a handful of names. Mm -hmm. um, two of those were people who, in the end, wouldn't be in a position to um, to take it or weren't interested. But one of them was, and that is one of the two resumes we okay. had yep. in front of us. Um, I did not, in the end, reach out to um, the other person I mentioned. Um, I did. Uh, it was the, I already got kind of gone to, to three, and it looked like we had at least one workable um, situation. Yep. And so it didn't seem like I, I didn't need to make the interim a huge, I don't know, competitive bid situation right. because yeah. we speed is is going to be yes. important, and having the person be able to kind of hit the ground running with the people who were in place yeah. mm -hmm. that's important. And I thought let's yeah. uh, let's stop there. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so we've got Lynn on. And you got Lynn on. Well, maybe uh, you, you, can I tell you, you either, either one, one you can go into the okay. And uh, and you know, Lynn, why don't you you can uh, correct or add to anything I I might miss? Um, are we allowed to say names? I mean, the, yeah. I don't think yeah, we're going to have to at some point today. Yes. All right. Um, a woman named Patricia Vincenzi. Um, who actually was town administrator for town of Waitley in the 90s. I did not know that for a couple of years in the 90s. At that time, it was a shared position, um, not with another town, but with another woman with small children. So two women with small children shared a job, and they made sharing that job work. Um, and I, I was new to town at the time. Um, a mother of small children myself at the time. So I really kind of appreciate that. Um, then, uh, uh, so Patricia has gone on to be uh, town administrator in many other places. Probably the longest one was the town of Citruit, which is a little bigger than Waitley. Um, uh, and, uh, any number of other municipal posts, a town administrator in South Hadley as well. Um, so, uh, what Patricia proposed was that uh, she share this job as well and share it with Lynn, who is in a really good position to basically take on half the town administrator job, mm -hmm. but not the whole town administrator job. Mm -hmm. So I think it would mean increasing hours for both, uh, for, for both increasing hours for Lynn and hiring Patricia on like a half time basis. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing Patricia made very clear to me but she is not interested in anything beyond June 30th. <laughs> she, that there's 
She, she's not a permanent replacement of any sort, and she's retired now. Mm -hmm. So this would be taking on some temporary work. Um, and she's much more interested in half time. The idea of sharing with women is actually very appealing mm -hmm. to her on account of she's working with the um, She knows many of the people uh, in town, uh, especially the people who were around and busy in the 90s. I think one of the things she told me that she did, and maybe it's in here too, while she was town administrator, that's from the industrial park back then. Right. Oh. That, that's in her. That, I think it's, that's in the description. She yeah. Mentions. But when I talked to her on the phone, that was the the thing she was kind of proud of that. So, um, so that, anyways, that I was very excited. I thought that's um, something that could work. Mm -hmm. And but I know we've got another resume um, that I also looked over as well. And I, I, I had not talked with the other candidate, Roxanne. Lynn, have you talked to, I don't know what she prefers, Patricia, Pat, or Trish? Or Trish. 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 I did speak with Trish. Um, I actually, when I first started working more full time for the town, I took over her. It was a co-town administrator job when Trish and Susan were here. And then they Susan got into a position where she could take some more hours. So she was the town admis, administrator and they made a municipal secretary position. And I took that. So I kind of followed Trish. <laughs> um, Trish is very experienced. She's, um, I think she can step in without any problem. Um, she would need some updating on the current projects that are going on, but she's familiar with how to handle projects. And like Joyce said, she was the one that was very involved in the industrial park when it was being uh, built. I think Susan handled more of the day-to-day -day, um, finance related things and Trish did more of the project things. So I, I think um, in this particular instance, I think we can separate these things in each work on, um, concentrate on certain projects uh, and let the people know who's doing what so that they know who to go to. Uh, both of us don't want full time and really, I can't do full time just because of my pension. Um, I'm kind of limited on how much I can earn and how many hours I can work. So both of us being in that position seemed to be a great opportunity to do another co-town administrator or interim co-town administrator. So um, we talked a bit and she seemed all for it. And I think she'd be a good fit. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've, we've got the two resumes. The other resume, you know, the person, Roxanne Weedgardner, um, <clears throat> would, I think, would be a fine resume if, it would, if we didn't have someone in Trish who would check every single box that we had. She yeah. doesn't want the job full time. Very experienced town administrator knows that has worked in the town, so knows it has worked with Lynn. Has worked with Lynn. Um, worked with I, the Sanderson's. Worked with them. right, right, right. right. I, I just I don't think yeah. we could draw up a resume that would fit this position better. Then seems tailor made. Then, right, seems tailor made, which says nothing. I don't want to say anything yeah. negative about Roxanne, but. Uh, yeah. Her experience yeah. for this position doesn't stack up. Or yeah, it doesn't match quite as well. As right. This but this does give the um, the folks who you're helping right. lead, yeah. the people who are searching for a more permanent yeah. replacement um, town administrator, yeah. it kind of gives you a deadline, mm -hmm. um, which mm -hmm. is right. not, I don't think it's an unmanageable one because it's roughly four right. months four away. Months. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's something that. Right. Uh, I think we should know we, at we, least we, 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 sh we should be able to find someone in that time. You can never guarantee it. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's uh that that's one thing to note. But um gosh, I think the pluses um outweigh and I mean I I, I don't feel like I need to wait longer and have no, I, uh, interviews and make it um make it take longer. I think there's a lot more value in if we can have her in 
sooner rather than later so that there's some overlap with Brian as well. Right. So that uh, they have a chance to really talk about who's going to take which parts. And that way the people here uh, in the room and in the other rooms can also have a good idea of how yeah. how that work is going to get distributed. So, mm -hmm. that, so that the, the team doesn't get too disrupted. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't know yeah. that we even you know, given that Luna's work with her and the resume, I don't even know that we we don't need to interview someone. We, we, we will need that discussions about you know, pay mm -hmm. and how the job's going to be split and yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah. Um, I, and that's one thing I I didn't chat at all with right. that about um, what what kind of hourly pay it was. But I imagine that's sort of, I don't know if it's set by our budget, but we certainly would have a starting point you know, what's left in the budget from Ryan's salary. Right. Yeah. And then how do we, uh, if we can manage it within that amount of money, then that that would probably work. I would think we should be able to, and if we can, that the yeah. reserve fund money or something, we can, it wouldn't be an awful lot yeah. beyond that, if it is beyond that at all. Yeah. It's exciting to have somebody who seems so, both so prepared and so experienced uh, in our particular locale. So that's thank you for making the recommendation. Um, okay, I think we're um, do, what all do we need to decide if we want to move forward? We've got to um, come up with like an hourly rate to make an offer. Um, would anybody object to using Brian's current hourly rate as the pay rate? For both, for both, for both, for both halves of the job, for both halves of the job, makes sense. Seems to me. appropriate. I think that seems like about yeah. It seems like the right thing to do. Yeah. Now we probably um, would be working eighteen or nineteen hours a week because if you get into the twenty hours a week, then you start doing the benefited. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a couple of extra hours in there that um, won't be paid for. Just, uh, but then we're also going to have to be paying out Brian his vacation and that kind of stuff. So, um, mm -hmm. your, yeah. your budget from a budget standpoint, I, I think you'll be pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, that, that that's what it, it seems like. We'll be close, one way or another. And if it's over, we will be able to find. Find it someplace. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like it might, the the a couple hours a week that you're talking about between um, paying out vacation and between maybe having a, a week where there's a little bit of overlap. Mm -hmm. um, those are going to be. Uh, I think that'll take care of whatever slack is there. Yeah. In the budget. And I do have one other comment. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'm leaving oh. on vacation next Thursday for, and I'll be back the following Wednesday. And I think Trish is got a few days that she's already had scheduled uh, March. I'm pretty sure it was March 6th, um, 7th and 8th or something like that. So um, I have to, we'll have to confirm that with her. So we wouldn't probably get going until March 11th. Okay. okay. Would there be possibility like next week, uh, 26, 27, 28? Um, yeah, I will be, I can. That could be something preliminary and then. Yeah. Uh, Right. Yeah. If, if both you and Trish could come in, then you know okay. we just sit down and figure out what the yeah. you know, the job division is, and yep. then Brian brief on ongoing things that will need attention. Yeah, we'll okay. have to sit down with Brian for a little bit to figure out yeah. where where different projects are and exactly. that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sounds good. Okay, so um, I just can I ask a yeah. question. I guess it's for, for Lynn or Amy. So, Lynn, if you're going to do if you're going to do eighteen hours a week, does that mean we find an assistant treasurer collector? Um, I well, Amy just texted me about that, and I said <laughs> I I I could probably continue to do payroll until I've got a little wiggle room, so I could work a few additional hours. But I could, I don't think it would be 10 hours a week, but I could do payroll for her until she can find somebody to um, fill the assistant treasurer collector position. 
So was that assistant treasurer collector position something that was going to have to be filled anyway, but this might need to have to be filled sooner rather than later? Yeah, yeah, because oh. that was going to be done the end of June. And uh, so she was going to need to fill that position anyways. It's just going to, with this particular situation, and she's going to need it filled a little earlier. Okay. Sorry. I think Ed. she has a couple of people in mind, so we'll see. Okay. Okay. So the, it, always a good thing. All right. Okay. You know, I'm remembering that Star Trek episode with, um, well, maybe it's, that's too grim, but the one where someone says, and now you die, Spock, and we all move up one in rank, you know? <laughs> we retire, Lynn, and you know, we all move up one in rank, you know? <laughs> I don't recall that one, but <laughs> 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 <Now> sparkling. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, although it's it's a it's it's kind of it's more of a habit yeah yeah and everyone moving up one and right yeah um uh yeah okay so I think we need a motion do we need to... two motions or just one well uh, I think we're going to ultimately need two motions one to uh, send to contact Trish and offer. Yeah, make the offer and then yeah, and first. then the second one to approve splitting the job between Lynn and Trish. Um, okay, and then uh, does the, and the, the hourly rate, rate can be in either one of those, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Well, well, I think the hourly rate should come in, in the definition of the job mm. that that they would each get. Okay. Um, All right. I might try to wrap it up into one motion. So they would, they would, they would be cold cap. No, yeah, cold intro. Right. Intro. <laughs> All right. So, I move that we appoint Lynn Sibley and Patricia Vincesi interim co co interim town administrators uh, through June thirtieth of this year uh, at an hourly rate equal to Brian's hourly rate as town administrator. I'll second. If I can amend that until June thirtieth, or until we hire a permanent town administrator, whichever comes first. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, uh, I was yeah. going to suggest that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I, yes. And that friendly amendment is accepted. <laughs> I, I second it with that amendment. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. How do we want to proceed with contacting Trish and scheduling all this? Um, well, I'm happy to give her a call. Um, then uh, it, or it might be a good idea just to get on the phone with the more than one person at a time. I, uh, the things to check into would be one: can she come in on the 26th, 27th, and or 28th um, to overlap with Lynn and Brian? Um, uh, and uh, well, zero is do you accept, right? right. Um, and then, uh, Lynn, you were saying something like March 11th would be the. Yeah, because I think I'm going to be gone and then she's going to be gone. I, I'm pretty sure she just said the six, the sixth, seventh, and eighth. So I'm back on the sixth and she would be leaving on the sixth. So, right. um, so, um, uh, Ask about next week if there's a little time yeah. to come out yeah. and ask about um, a start date. And yeah. I should expect that to be uh, March, uh, possibly single digits, but maybe more likely the 11th. The 11th for a formal start date, probably. Start date, okay. Okay. Well, I'm happy to take that part on and I will see oh, Brian on everything and see Lynn on everything. Right. right. So that that's all. Anybody else want to CC on that? Okay. No. That's John. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other business? No. I move that we adjourn this very productive meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Lynn. Thank, Thank you, Lynn. You, Lynn. Okay.